Hi everyone, it's me, Teresa, here with Be Prepared to Cook with Teresa and Pampered Chef. And today I am making some homemade donuts with our pantry's donut mix. It's super simple, super easy to use. Just add a couple ingredients up from home and you've got great baked donuts. Now, if you didn't know, we have a donut pan and a donut hole pan. I love both of these. A donut pan you can use for donuts and bagels and just they're a little smaller than the donuts you get in the donut shop so and they're baked so they are a little more nutritious. <laughs> I don't know if nutritious is the word but a little less guilt ridden when you eat these baked donuts and the donut hole pan is awesome you can make donut holes you can make pizza bites you can make bagel bites you can make meatballs you can make so many different things with both of these pans i love how pampered chef products all have multi-uses but today i am going to be making donuts. So, so simple. I am just going to place the donut mix in my batter bowl. Add a cup of milk and a quarter of a cup of butter. Melted butter or oil. I tend to go with the butter because it just gives it a better richer flavor. I'm just going to mix this all up. Meanwhile, my oven is preheating to 350 degrees and they don't take very long at all. They cook in about 10 to 12 minutes, depending on your oven and your elevation. And then you just let them cool and glaze them, put powdered sugar. I'm gonna show you how to make a simple chocolate glaze as soon as these get in the oven. Okay, all pretty well stirred here. Now, here's a tip. The easiest way for me to fill this donut pan is using a um, piping bag. I just like to use the disposable ones and I put them in a tall glass to make it easy to fill. You just fill the piping bag and then pipe it into the donut wells. So easy, so simple. This is a great item to, um, to do with your kids as well because um, it's so simple. They don't need to crack eggs. They don't need to do anything fancy. A little more. Get in there. Ooh. Got a tip. Oh, that filled my bag all the way. All right. Let me move this out of the way. Just fill each of the wells. Super easy, super fast. But don't tell your family how easy they are. They'll think you worked for hours. These are real quick and easy. You can make on a school day, on the weekend. They're great when kids are bringing friends over, having a sleepover. Just kind of make sure they're all even here. I like um, the way baked donuts taste and aren't greasy. I don't like a greasy donut. I like donuts, but the greasy ones are just not good. 
Hang them on the counter, get a little bit of air bubbles out. And then we will stick those in the oven for just about 10 minutes. Now, if you haven't seen this, this is our kitchen timer that came out last fall. And it's really great because you can set four different things at the same time to cook. I'm gonna check them at 10 minutes, get them into the oven, and then I'll show you the quick glaze. What's your favorite kind of donut? There's so many different ones. I don't like too much on my donuts. Like I don't go for those thick ones that have cereal and crunchies and all that on top. I like to be able to taste the purity of the deliciousness of the cake of the donut. All right, so while the donuts are cooking, this is the simplest glaze ever. All right, so it's a chocolate glaze to mix it up with my vanilla cake donuts. I'm using my silicon um, prep bowls. I love these, they come in a set of three and they can go in the microwave, I like to use them when I'm making my um, Keurig coffees because then I can put my cream and my add-ons in there. So you got chocolate chips. I'd have a cup of chocolate chips and just two tablespoons of butter. Now, melting chocolate in the microwave can sometimes be tricky. So um, I only do it for 20 to 30 seconds at a time because you don't want it to burn. So I will get that going and then I will stir it in between. Besides the donut mix that we have in our pantry, we have pancake and waffle mix. We have bread mixes. Our beer bread is so easy. You just add a sparkling water or beer or sparkling apple juice or whatever your preference is to that bread. Mix it up, put it in the oven. We have some classic Italian herb bread, which is so delicious. It's more of a traditional bread, though it's not a quick bread. So you do need to leave time for it to rise. Um, but boy, it's crispy on the outside, soft in the middle, nice and rustic and delicious. Um, one of my favorites is our caramel latte bread. Now, we had a few extra bananas that people didn't eat, so they got a little brown. So I mashed up the bananas and I substituted that for the eggs in our caramel latte bread and I topped it with walnuts and baked it. And my husband's like, this is the best banana bread you've ever made. And I said, why, thank you. I slaved all day. When really the caramel latte bread just takes about five minute prep time and about an hour to cook. All right, so here is the glaze. And I'm gonna leave it where it is now because it's a nice consistency, not too thin, not too thick. And I'll wait for our donuts to be done and then cool a little bit and then dip those in. I'm also gonna just dust them with powdered sugar and do some traditional powdered sugar ones. And my family will be happy and have a nice donut treat to have with their coffee in the morning. All right, so the donuts are done. Yes, yeah, so I'm trying testing. the powdered sugar one. And this is the chocolate one, mm -hmm. the chocolate icing. Mmm, fluffy. Very good. Mm-hmm. A nice little crunch, not crunchy, but firmer outside, soft inside. Mmm. Perfect. Very good.